What's up boys? Happy New Year. Uh, this is the first vlog of 2020. Um, real quick before we start the video, my goal for this year, well one of my goals, um, at least for YouTube, is to get 10,000 subscribers on YouTube and to, well to facilitate that I'm going to be vlogging, trying to vlog every single week. So one vlog minimum a week or yeah one vlog a week and then like my normal car videos on top of that. So. If I'm slacking on doing that, I'd love if you guys could leave comments on YouTube or Instagram and tell me to make a fucking vlog and I will get out of the house and actually go and do something exciting. Um, so today, we are just kind of chilling, really. Um, tonight there is a meet at about 10.30pm. It's the sort of ruthless Friday night drags, very unorganized, chaotic and pretty fucking dodgy to be honest sort of meat um, but we're just so we're just cleaning the car now we're at wash world and we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys how I clean my car when I don't do it at home because sometimes you're out and about you need a quick car wash takes 20 minutes to do a really really thorough job um, and it costs about ten dollars and you just need a few little things for yourself there's also a lot of water spots on my car from me cleaning it and then not drying it properly drying your car probably is a huge component of keeping it clean and also just like just good for the paint and cleaning it and all that shit um but yeah let's get started all right so always make sure that your wipers are up so the other day i was driving along and this wing actually fell off um, I kind of expected it to do that eventually because it was just taped on and there was a lot of sort of drag um, Pushing on it. So the back hair is a little bit scratched up, but we're gonna get that polished out pretty soon um, But yeah for now, I'm just rocking the no wing and I kind of like the no wing look it actually looks pretty slick because It just sort of makes the car look a bit lower and more close to the ground anyway I always start off all my washes with the pre-soak and I just cover the whole car in pre-soak and that just helps sort of get, um, sort of loosen all the dirt and the bugs off and shit. Watch out. <laughs> Get all the dirt off you just give it a quick once over chuck one dollar in and then just leave it for a minute then i take my two dollars chuck that in and i get the the proper foam gun Fuck. it's so fucking windy today holy shit It's a, it's a good idea to just leave all this on for like three or four minutes let it really grab onto the dirt and let it fall down a bit so this is the event that's on tonight underground takeover um, basically if you know my rallies we usually go out to a super nice scenic location do a really cool after movie blah blah, blah. but this one tonight it's starting in the middle of the Auckland CBD and we're just gonna like fucking go hard um, I'm gonna vlog it obviously, but I'm not gonna have my big gimbal set up and everything. We got 82 people going so far, there should be a few more tonight. So that's gonna be fucking wicked, I can't wait. And for the first time ever, I'm bringing my own car to one of the meets. So that'll be really fun. Alright, so after you've let this um, foam soak in for a bit, we're gonna go over the high pressure soap and we're gonna get quite close to the paint. Not too close, but quite close to it. Wash all that off while also soaping it a bit more. Um, but really just getting all the dirt off and then we'll rinse that off. Cool, so we've done the soap, it's pretty much clean. And we're just gonna go over again with the, uh, get the high pressure rinse and get it properly all rinsed off, so you want to get all the soap off. So there's been quite a few water spots 
once on my car recently and that's most likely because I've um, washed it in the sun and not dried it fast enough or just washed it incorrectly so um, luckily Grant from Custom Coatings has given me this water spot remover from Fireball so while the car is still a bit wet I'm going to spray this everywhere because um, it's pretty much everywhere so spray it everywhere wipe it with a um, microfiber cloth and then dry it and this should also help with um, drying the car to make it a bit easier as well these back down it's a really good idea to give those I'm not gonna do it because I literally bought these wipers yesterday really really nice having brand new wipers by the way but always a good idea like if you're if you're as old is to um, get some soapy water um, and just like get a microfiber cloth and pinch this and just scrape it down there and because um, usually when your windscreen is getting really dirty half the time it's just your wipers are fucked also uh, we just started selling these white on black banners so those are available now on the Notorious uh, website, it's linked below, but it's thenotoriouscollective.com Z's, but your one's quite nice, bro. <laughs> Shit like that cracks me up. I actually, I've had that a few times. Like, a lot of people hate the way the 350Z looks, and honestly, I think it's pretty ugly car stock. You sort of need like a body kit and to get low and some wheels to make it look pretty decent, but yeah, it's cracking me up. It's definitely snapping a few necks today. <laughs> So car's all washed, ready for tonight. I've just been chilling at home for a bit, doing some editing and um, playing a bit of Need for Speed Heat, which is my new favorite game. I haven't actually touched a gaming console in like four or five years, but a few months ago I got a PS4 and I've just been jamming Need for Speed Heat and a little bit of like the new Modern Warfare, but mostly Need for Speed Heat. And if you guys follow my Instagram, you know that I'm looking at getting an RX7 FD this year and I've created my dream one in Need for Speed Heat, so I'm going to show you. I don't know why it's flickering so much, but this is my dream FD and how I would build it. Super tinted windows, bagged on some fucking crazy wheels, blacked out everything, um, no wide body kit, just like a splitter, uh, keep the pop-up headlights probably, but like slant them like that, like half up. Um, get like a main front bumper, diffuser, um, keep the original Mazda Speed Wing, bag it, sick wheels like that, and just a really nice simple, maybe like, you know, rebuilt single turbo, four or five hundred horsepower build, and it would be fucking beautiful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, because I'm like, I'm already looking at FDs and like, I'm gonna go test drive some soon, so let me know what you think below, um, but... 2020, like, we're gonna get an FD this year, 100%.
How many radars do you need to have on your roof, bro? You got like five fucking things coming off. Look how tall that one is. That is pretty sick. A rough paint, but I love these old school subies. They're fucking sick. STI wheels. Oh. That's fucking nice. I love these wings.
Jesus. It's pretty, pretty wild. What, are you gonna get home? Yeah, so I'm just gonna do it and then it's got, it's got heaps. Oh. oh fuck, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, I'm so lucky I didn't do it. Holy shit. Let's go, man. Let's go, man. Go, go, go. Later boys.